and not blame it on some so-called limitation of birth or the so-called accident of birth. The speaker certainly can stand before any of them and honestly state that no one in that group started any more behind an eight ball than the speaker. If a little tiny island unknown, the average person even to this day, you mentioned the word Barbados, they don't know what it is. First of all, it's only 21 miles long and only 14 miles wide. That's the little spot, completely unknown. Set out into the Atlantic and the Caribbean. And here, a poor white family with a very large family and no financial background, no social, no intellectual background. And this large family that my father intuitively knew the power of imagination. And my brother Victor knew it. My mother, she also knew it. And in some peculiar way, it bushed off. And I fell about it. Now I'm sharing it with you. For today, they don't need anyone to help them. They are the ones in the position of helping people today. For there's no one in the island more prominent financially than they are. The governor comes to get the advice of my brother Victor on economic problems. They all seek his advice, not others. And yet here was a boy who had nothing. For he started off with exactly what he was doing. And he saw in his mind's eye what he wanted to say, which if true would imply that we owned it. And he saw it, he worked himself up to the point of vision. And then in due course of time, it happened. This particular vision took two years. And an almost total stranger was the means through which we bought the building. And got that lovely building for $50,000, right on the main street at the corner. Did a wonderful business in it and then sold it without any capital gain tax on it for $840,000. That same building for which he only paid $50,000, he sold for 840000 In the meanwhile, doing a way of a business in it, then he one across the way, in the middle of the war, for something like 125000 which have already been offered something like $6 million for it. And that's all Vic's doing in his mind's eye. But that's his cup of tea. He likes the use of money. Not owning it really to have money, but just the use of it. It excites him. He doesn't excite me at all. I seem to be brought into this world with a peculiar art of spending. And he had the art of investing. So we balance each other. He invests and makes it, and I spend it for him. But here, the God of the Scripture is your own wonderful human imagination. The Lord Jesus Christ, that prior to this moment you might have bowed before, is your own wonderful human imagination. That is the only Jesus in the world. That's Jesus. The sacred being wearing a robe dipped in blood. And that robe of blood is your own physical body that you're wearing now. That is when the world and that's his name, he came flesh and now dwells within us. Now that is going to the silence.